Now with Daffodil Day last Friday, our thoughts have turned to how we can help those battling cancer. Our next guests have created a book that they hope will be an invaluable resource for those who are going through treatment. Welcome to the cafe, Karen McMillan and Sam Mannering. Morning guys. Thank Morning. you. Really nice to have you in the studio. Um, first up, let's start with you, Karen. Um, you both battled cancer. Let's talk about your experiences first. Well, I lost both my um, parents to cancer in my 20s, so I always knew I was going to be at risk. So I've been really, really vigilant about getting checks and it was a a routine mammogram and um, ultrasound that I was diagnosed with breast cancer in 2011. So I'm six years clear now and like I'm a really good kind of poster child for like early detection, good prognosis and um, you know they fixed me, I'm all fine. Okay that is great. What about you Sam? Um, well there's been a, a quite serious history of melanoma in my family mm -hmm. and um, <laughs> yeah and, and, and I, was, I was incredibly lucky you know just had a couple of what I see as overcomplicated just moles really that got dealt with really early on. Um, and it's, I mean, I, I, I was always, given the family history, um, quite vigilant, mm. but it's just, it's just made me even more so. so. Sam, I'm exactly the same. I've yeah. had the same thing, a slightly yep. dodgy one that was caught very early, which means that I am melanoma free. Yeah. Um, although you've got to keep an eye on it, don't you? Absolutely. Family history. Yeah. Um, so Karen, what gave you the idea for Everyday Strength? Well, I wrote a book called Unbreakable Spirit, which is 30 stories of people facing cancer. And from writing that book, I've had hundreds and hundreds of discussions with people about cancer. And I suddenly thought, wouldn't it be great to have a book with really good recipes for when you're going through your treatments? And also some well well-being tips, so not the high-end medical stuff that you're talking to your oncologist about, but mm -hmm. those everyday things to do to make yourself feel a little bit better. The things that you can do at home yourself. Yeah. So what about the recipes, Sam? Uh, the book, there's loads <laughs> of incredible recipes yeah. in here. Are they designed with um, people in mind that are fighting cancer? Well, that's, yeah, I mean, I think you are what you eat, and I think there's a bit of a disconnect about what you can eat when you're going through treatment, or it just becomes this, it, it, it just gets forgotten about. Mm. Um, there seems to be one of two extremes, either that, or you just go on this diet of sort of super health foods, so bowls of kale and this, that, and the other. Is that sustainable I, or I, delicious? Yeah, <laughs> I, and to me it's just a bit ex extreme. So um, my approach was somewhere between something that was, that was healthy but also comforting. Mm, and something that the whole family can eat Absolutely as well. Absolutely right, yeah. Karen, your book also has lots of wellbeing tips in it. Um, are these things that you learnt along the way? Yes, and also I spoke to a lot of experts. So this book has been signed off by medical professionals. So what we did is we just ordered it by areas of concern because you know, you, one minute you're worried about how exhausted you are. Mm -hmm. Next thing you might be worried about your hair loss. Mm -hmm. Next thing you might be worried about your emotional wellbeing because mm -hmm. you might be a bit down in the dump sometimes. So we, there's lots of tips there that you can go to just you know that you can employ at home and make hopefully make every day just that little What's bit better. What's a couple of examples for me? Exhaustion's the biggie. So um, things to look at is um, nutrition. So if you can eat regularly and keep your blood sugar levels at a good level, then that's going to help. Um, hydration, make sure you're drinking enough fluids. Mm -hmm. It's easy to forget that, especially when you're going through treatments. Mm -hmm. Exercise is a biggie, uh, you know, get some advice around it, what you can do as far as exercise goes. Ginseng, there's been a, a clinical study that shows that cancer-related fatigue can be helped if you take a daily dose. So that's something to talk to your oncologist about. Oh, lots of tips. Um, Sam, there's a special section too for young or for parents of young children. Yeah. How did yeah. that come about? Oh man, that, I mean, once we started scratching below the surface, I realised how much of an issue it is. And mm. uh, that for me was by far the most harrowing part of the whole project. Um, I mean, it must be just such a struggle for, for parents, you know, torn between just, um, well, bowing down and giving, giving um, your child, you know, who's going through such mm. a terrible time, um, what you, what, well, just something to make them happy, say lollies or whatever, yeah. you know, just to, just, just to sort of keep them quiet really and get them to eat something, anything. Um, but of course, that's a terrible approach. But mm. you're stuck between a rock and a hard place really. So again, it's about that balance between something that will appeal to a child because a child going through something as terrible as treatment mm. um, is not going to understand that a bowl of broccoli is better than a bowl of chips. No, exactly. You well, know? No, I don't think anyone understands that. Exactly. Just to be honest. You know? uh, there's yeah. some excellent recipes in here too. I think they're going to keep uh, the parents and the children very happy. And I think everybody could get something out of this, not just people that are uh, battling cancer as well, because the recipes are delicious. Thank you both very much for coming in today. Uh, you can go to the Cafe Facebook page to enter the draw to win Karen and Sam's book, Everyday Strength. <laughs>